All right, ladies and gents, boys, girls, Johan, no, you cannot have half points for having nuts in every single answer. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Someone has to try, as long as it's you, we're okay. Right, ladies and gents, section number four is, uh, as I said, it's logos, but it's not just logos, it's car logos, okay? So, you've got to be careful because most of them are just brands, but what is a specific uh, car. It's a two-word answer. It's much more specific, okay? So be careful. Mm. Another half of my beer. It's going, it goes well if you put a bit of um, uh, spot zero in it. Right. Everybody ready? Let's get going, shall we? I'm going to start off with number one. Name the brand that uses this logo. Oh, that's way too easy. Just like I used to be before I was married. <laughs> Only for you, baby. Right, number two, ladies and gents. Name the brand that uses this logo. You notice I had to uh, blue out the, the white writing. Um, and I didn't have quite the right shade of blue, but it is what it is. Now, uh, Johan, as soon as you are a used car salesman or used car uh, company owner, you should rock this. If you don't, we're going to have a discussion. <laughs> oh, I love that comment. Look down the comments, guys. Ron J. Ron, Ron Yako K. Says Katie, <laughs> Ronnie, and Yaku. Um, love that. Love it, love it, love it. Mosquito using a wet wipe before he bit me. I think it is brilliant. <laughs> right, ladies and gents, number three, name, and this this is no longer sold, I don't think, definitely not in this country, but there are some of them driving around. Name the, uh, the brand that uses that logo. Where are the cattle to put your life again? No. In case you're wondering, it must still be Easter because my wife still got these in the fridge. Goodness alone knows. So it was upside down. She still has these in the fridge. She loves them. And so do my kids. There's actually fights about who gets to eat them some days. Right, number four, ladies and gents. Now, this is the, the scary one. Two-word answer. Two-word answer. Okay? There you go. That is the logo. of. It's a two-word answer for that logo. So be careful, please. So far, so good, yes? Who thinks they got four out of four? Let me know. Just put put down uh, hell yeah on your typing. Type in hell yeah so I can see you think you got four out of four. The ruffling of pa uh, papers that you hear is my wife opening chocolatey sticks. I wasn't going to tell them, babe, but I can. <laughs> Rory, definitely, hell yeah. <laughs> not a single bike one there, Rory. You still got them. I'm, in, I'm impressed. Also, not that Ryan, four out of four. I like it, I like it, I like it. I love your name, by the way. I really love your name. <laughs> right, number five, ladies and gents. This is a hard one. Um, I think there, there can't be more than two or three of them in the whole country. Name the brand that has that as their logo. You get this, you are mostly a meme. <laughs> well done, a meme, well done. Rory, the first Sunday we are in a lockdown and we do a quiz at uh, Matey's, you are buying me a beer. These are the rules. And I'm going to sit down and drink it with you. It's been a long time. You're going to be alcoholic. You're saying that to everyone. I'm, I'm going to drink tequila with people. I'm going to drink beers with people. My wife's going to fetch me. I am not. And, and hopefully it's before my birthday in July. <laughs> right, number six, ladies and gents, it should be an easy one. They made beautiful cars. They made comfortable cars. But uh, I don't know if they made long-lasting cars. Name that one. Or should I say they used to make beautiful cars? They used to make comfortable cars. I'm not a fan of these now. Oh.
Now, ladies and gents, number seven. My sister, Alison, who I don't think she's on tonight. I haven't seen her, Ali Cat. Uh, her husband, uh, boyfriend, sorry, was planning on buying one of these. Oh, name the brand. Number seven. I, of course, had to black things out so that you couldn't see what's written there. Right, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Next up, number eight. This one should be easy because there's enough of them driving around in uh, Johannesburg. I must be honest, I thought, oh, look, more Chinese crap. And then I found out the story behind it and I changed my mind. Here it is, number eight. Name that brand. Evidently, I didn't know enough when I first saw them, I must be honest. Number nine, ladies and gents, and Ma uh, Mark, Mark, nine, okay, nine. Uh, this is a bit of a hard one because it is a an American brand. Uh, I have, however, seen at least one driving around Joburg. I think I've seen more than one. I think I've seen about eight or nine of them driving around uh, Joburg. Let's see if you can recognize this. Name the brand that uses this logo. Quite an expensive brand in the States. For locally made stuff, of course. I could have played this. Really? Honestly. Actually, no, I actually think Yoni did the, 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 the nuts and the animals. I think I did the rest. And last but not least, uh, man of mine, Pano has owned about 19 of the damn things. Uh, I almost uh, 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 owned one and tried to go for a drive um, and realized there's like nothing inside the vehicle, literally. Uh, name the brand that uses that logo. I know if Anthony Mintram is playing, he will definitely get that one right, 110%. He's had a couple of these as well. <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, on that note, tear it off, right steam at the top. You can't do either of those, but you can swap hands. So go, let me along those lines. Swap hands, swap them, swap them, swap them, and let's see how you did. Too easy, yes? Well, except for that one, that number five. Number five is very hard, and I've stuck it in the middle there because uh, the only way you're going to know, know it is either you've owned one, uh, or you have very good internet and you're Googling the answer. Kim Kutzer wants me to run through them again. Uh, Kim, I can do that for you. Give me a second while I redo. You missed the first one, Kim, the easiest one. Okay. Tell you what, let's do number one. We'll run through all 10. I'll give you five seconds per logo. Here we go, number one. Number two. Oops. Here we go. Number three. Number four. Two word answer. Number five. That's a hard one. I've heard that a lot in my life. Number six. <laughs> and generally followed by a laugh. <laughs> Number seven. Number eight.
And number nine. Anine, I am always blushing. You know that. I talk a big game, but I run if anyone starts taking clothes off. Except for my wife, of course. And last but not least, number 10. There you go. There you go, trendsetters. Have a go at that. So, often I will be in a live quiz and someone will turn to me and say, I'll make a comment. And someone will turn to me and say, you wouldn't say that if your wife was here. And I'll go, yes, I would. And I go, no, you, no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Um, I am the exact same person in front of my wife as I am behind her back. It's what being who you are is all about. And as you can see with her sitting next to me in the comments I make, um, I'm still exactly who I am, unfortunately. And I, I would apologize for that, but my mummy made me like this, so and we're I, okay. I, I either laugh or roll my eyes. <laughs> yes, she either laughs or rolls her eyes and generally slaps me when no one looks. But I'll tell you a secret. I enjoy it. And just remember, guys, I met Sean at first. True. I actually met uh, uh, Lindy. Uh, the Irish, it's not called Irish Rock. It was the keg. Um, the Irish Rock uh, Little Falls. I can actually walk you up to the exact bench she was sitting on the first time she paid my quiz. And I can point to the exact part of the bench that she was sitting at. Aww. How'd you like that? And my first words to my current wife were, Master. They were. In your dreams. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> Rory. And here we are holding back comments as Lindy's here. <laughs> Right, ladies and gents. Rory, I could make you blush. Oh, Rory, she could make you blush. She makes me blush. Yeah. And I enjoy it. Right, let's move on, shall we? Uh, answer time, ladies and gents. Number one, of course, is Porsche. Uh, I mean, Porsche. Uh, I like that. They were, not are. Number two, ladies and gents, it's Maserati. Maserati. Number three is Say It. Say It. Uh, they still make them overseas. They just don't make them here anymore. Dave says, Lindy makes me blush. <laughs> no, Dave, you running naked on the beach in Mozambique should make you blush. Just say. <laughs> hey, Sean, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Lindy, uh, Lindy's a parkies girl. <laughs> oh, yeah, through and through. Uh, Dave, Lindy does not like your beard. Time to shave. Yeah, no. Well, he's got a full beard at the moment. Not bad. Better than that little bulky thing he was no. going. Just saying. No. Number four, ladies and gents, it is none other than two-word answer, remember, half point per word. It is a Chevrolet Corvette. Woo. That is the official logo of Chevrolet Corvette. No, uh, George, I did not propose it, Monty. I actually took my... Uh, I, I, I flew my wife to the Eastern Cape to meet my family over Christmas. Then we went, drove to a little town called Hogsback, and uh, it had been pissing with rain for about three weeks and all the trails were closed. I managed to find that the one trail, the worst trail to the top of a bloody mountain, uh, was still passable. Made a walk to the top of a mountain <laughs> next to a waterfall. Okay. Got down on one knee and proposed to her. She was so happy that we ran down the path, <laughs> could have killed both of us, to get to the car where her cell phone was so she could phone her mom and tell her. But I am actually a romantic at heart, so it had to be done in the right way at the right place at the right time. Simple as that. Love you, babe. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, you get half point for Chevrolet in that one and half point for Corvette. Yes, you do, Sherilyn. Right, ladies and gents, number five is a hard one. It's called a Spitter. Spitter, S-P-I-R-R-A. I have seen one in the country. I've seen one in the country only. Um, and you got a bit of money to have one of those as well, a Spitter. Right, so number six, you don't have a lot, need a lot of money to buy one of these. It's a Citroen. A Citroen. Number seven, ladies and gents, an Aston Martin. Aston Martin. I wouldn't mind the uh, Vanquish myself. Mm. I know when I'm big. And not working on, uh, what's tonight? Tuesday, and we're not working on Tuesday nights. <laughs> That'll never happen. Number eight, ladies and gents, it's an Infiniti. Infiniti? Infiniti. I'm not a site. Infiniti? Infiniti. Infiniti. Uh, it's actually a luxury brand. I didn't know it was at the time. And you can actually order an Infiniti with full uh, ballistics, uh, bulletproof. So you can have a full bulletproofed Infiniti, believe it or not. It says, Johan says, Infiniti is the luxe brand of Nissan, like There we go. Infiniti is the luxury brand of Nissan. I should know that since I drive a Nissan. Thanks, Johan. Bet you got, did, Johan, did you get Spiri right? Spiri right, sorry. I think it was a hard one. 
Right, number nine, ladies and gents, it is an American brand. It's Buick. Buick. Lots of them around, actually. Uh, what do you mean no longer around Nissan? That can only come from a person who works for Toyota. Is Toyota still making cars? Uh, that's correct. That's 100% correct. Uh, Harry, please accept your scores. Harry, please click on the yes underneath your scores. Right, and number 10 is Subaru. 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 Nice and easy. Right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, while you type your scores in, this is the end of round three. Is it round four. Oh, round, we're at the end of round four. I will show you the, the overall scores for round three in about two minutes. We're just waiting for Harry to click on the OK button. Right, ladies and gents, while you do that, I'm going to put you back to my Be Right Back, and we'll see you shortly. Enjoy the music, guys.